Hi folks and welcome to Baskerville Basics. My name is Jenny and in this video tutorial I'm going to guide you through how to log on to Baskerville for the very first time after you've received your invitation email. So your invitation email will look something like this and it includes details such as your username, your project name and something called a Slam QoS. So in this example, my username is ZQLF1956, project name is Edmund Akbar Chow, and my Slam QoS is called Beham. Your QoS might be called something different depending on the institution that you're based in. If you scroll further down into the email, you'll see step one, that gives you a link to the official documentation on Baskerville to how to log on. Step two gives you a quick example of how to run an interactive job. Step three is an example of submitting a batch job. And step four tells you how much storage you've been assigned on Baskerville. In my example, I've been assigned one terabyte of quota on my project. So let's scroll back up to step one of this invitation email and click through to the documentation for logging on to Baskerville. So for new users, we want to look at the first time access documentation. And the very first step here is to visit the Baskerville authentication portal, which is given through this link here. Now, what you need to do is click on the new user slash forgot password link, since you don't have a password at this time to log in as a new user. If you were a previous user of Baskerville, then you'll also need to click this new user slash forgot password link, and this will send you an automated email with your new password in which you can log in through on this screen. So when you click this link, you'll be taken to this page in which you need to enter the username or email that you use to sign up for the invitation. So in my case, my username was ZQLF1956. And then we go ahead and click the submit button. This should send you an email with instructions with how to further proceed with logging on to Baskerville. Let's go check out email. Now you should receive an email with a link to reset your credentials. Please make sure that you click this link scan the QR code and set up your new password within the next five minutes. Otherwise, the process will expire and you'll have to contact Baskerville support to reset the process. Once you've clicked this reset your credentials link, you'll see a QR code on your screen. You'll need to set up two-factor authentication using an authenticator app on your phone, such as Microsoft Authenticator, Google Authenticator, or free OTP. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Microsoft Authenticator. When you open the app, press the three dots in the top right hand corner and press add account, and then press work or school account. Then press the scan QR code option, and you're now ready to scan the QR code that was provided to you from Baskerville. Your Authenticator app should start generating a one-time passcode for you to enter every time you log into Baskerville. Now back to the screen with the QR code, please enter your one-time passcode to continue. Once you're in, please read and accept the terms and conditions, and then set up your password for your account. Please remember to choose a strong and secure password. In your account details, please enter your first name, last name, and paste in your public SSH key, which you can find in the .ssh folder of your home directory on your local machine. If you've never generated an SSH key pair before, please look at some guides that we've linked below in the description box of this video. Once you've entered all of these details, please click save. And that's it. You've got everything you need now to access Baskerville. So that's your username, password, one-time passcode, and SSH key. There are multiple ways in which you can access Baskerville, be it through the Baskerville portal or through SSH, which we'll cover in another video. Thanks again for watching Baskerville Basics and see you again in another video soon.